Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I created five full outfits all from Target. All affordable items. Target has a new brand, I found out, you guys. They got rid of Mossimo. I got the T when I was there. Wild Fable, I believe is the new brand name. It was definitely a little bit hoier. No, I'm just kidding, it wasn't hoier. It's more like trendy, I would say. Before it was kind of a little bit more young professional, now it's like a little bit trendier. So I was excited to see some stuff. Everything that I got today is from Target, except, except for the shoes. The shoes are not from Target. I dipped into the shoe section, but it just wasn't for me. So I decided to just go with like my staple shoes that I wear all the time, every single day. Very easy to find classic style type shoes. We're gonna be putting some outfits together. We're gonna be making moves here. Let's go. Each girl just has her own identity. Each outfit has their own identity. You know what I'm saying? This vibe is more of like a motorsport. So we have a t-shirt dress. I think if you're taller than me, AKA if you're average height or taller, this probably doesn't qualify as a t-shirt dress. I think it's supposed to be a long shirt, but um, on me, I feel like I can get away with it being a t-shirt dress. I'm 5'3", by the way. And I'm wearing some Gilligan O'Malley like spank type shorts underneath this, just in case there is a gust of wind. You never know. She just has some attitude. She doesn't like to wear pants. Pants are overrated for her. Are we loving this bag? This is like off-white who? Off-white costs how much now? We have the clear vibe going on and we have a little bit of that like uh, seat belt action. She drinks black cold brew for sure. She doesn't mess around, you know? She probably lives in Long Beach, honestly. I feel like she lives in Long Beach. That's what I'm feeling. So this outfit is really, it just came to me last minute actually. I wasn't planning on wearing this, it just kind of happened. This shirt is from the men's department. This is a size extra small. It says high hopes. I know a lot of people just think it probably says like I get high or something like that, but it says high hopes on it. And I paired it with some black jean shorts. I rolled up the sleeves because they were kind of long and a weird shape. So I rolled up the sleeves and then we have this clear backpack. This is from that new brand that I was talking about for all my small things. We also have the earrings. These are just plain small silver hoops. You know, I just want to wear a t-shirt and some shorts, some vans and call it a day. We're not doing the most, but we're not doing the least. This next girl, she is faux active. She likes to look like she's active, but is she really? Probably not. This outfit is a matching two-piece set. We have a really cute green, blue, black vibe kind of going on. And I paired it with a bralette that I got out of the lingerie department, that's right. This is a Gilligan O'Malley seamless bralette. And to me, it looks just like a cropped tank kind of, but it has some support in it, which I love. I am here for that. Okay, for this look, I decided to pair it with the cobalt blue baglet. There is, if you look really closely in here, there is bold blue in there, and I just wanted something to really stand out, add a little pop of color. Obviously, you could wear a black bag, but I didn't want to be basic. So this you can wear open with something underneath. You could wear a black tank top, a bodysuit, you know, if you don't want to wear something cropped. You can wear it zipped up. I did find that the top is a little bit puffy looking when it's zipped up. It's not quite as fitted as I wanted it to be. And I paired this outfit with a pair of black Reeboks, you know, to go with the whole vibe. This is a super cute olive green jumpsuit and I love this. It's very comfortable. Don't listen, John, but this is kind of like if I was single, I'd be going out in this right now. You know what I mean? Can you feel the tension in the air right now? I know I can. This is a really cute romper. Yes, you could totally wear heels, dress it up however you want, but I like to pair it with my white Nikes. I feel like it's just clean, it's simple, it looks really good, and then I have a simple black crossbody bag. This bag's not my favorite. That's all I have to say. Threw on a bigger hoop. This is like a brushed stainless steel hoop. Figure it went with um, the hardware here, which is a silver pole. This thing right here, you see that? How it goes like that? I pushed that shit in. I said, let the boy wow. I feel like she, the girl that wears this outfit, kind of talks like this. She's a little better than you. You know what I mean? She's a little better than you. Especially you, John. This outfit, I feel like, sums up my entire life. I found this graphic tee in the men's department. Listen, the thing about graphic tees, you want to find a graphic tee that doesn't elicit unwarranted conversation. I was scarred when somebody came up to me because I was wearing a shirt that said white wine all the time and then they wanted to talk to me about red wine. What is this? I have no idea. 
Zero idea, I think that's the point, which is great. So I paired this with a combat boot, but you can wear it with, you know, sneakers, whatever. Have to talk to you guys about the shorts. I saved this because this is a slip. This is not intended to be external wear, if you will, but I'm gonna wear it on the outside. So that's what I'm wearing right now. You guys, they are so comfortable, and I understand there are two types of people in this world, people that approve of bike shorts, people think they're the ugliest fucking thing in the world, and you know what, that's okay. I used to actually hate them, but once, the first time that I wore them, I was like, wow, my thighs aren't chafing and I'm wearing shorts. This is actually kind of great. So that's why I wear them now, and it looks cute with a baggier t-shirt, which is also up my alley. Okay, this next outfit I love. I like to call this my Tokyo outfit because the pants, look just like the pants that I bought when I was in Tokyo, my yellow flannel vibe pant. They fit pretty well, surprisingly. Normally pants don't fit me that well, so I'm wondering what's going on here. My only problem with this outfit is the pants either need to be higher rise or the shirt needs to be longer. I was trying to find just a basic white tee, one that wasn't cropped, but I couldn't find one, unfortunately. I am personally not a belly button out kind of girl, okay? But this one's kind of a belly button out, but that's why I put the fanny pack in front of it. You'll never know it's there. You like that? I also love the denim jacket that I found. It's a little bit oversized, but it's not too big. You know what I mean? Like it still fits well here. It's not just like giant boxy everywhere. And I paired this look with my combat boots as well because it just gave me Tokyo moods, you know? There's so many different things in here that you can interchange and create new outfits with, but I just loved every single outfit from today. I loved all the bags. I loved the pants and of course my shoes. Love my shoes. Also, I wanna know, I'm curious to like what your guys' style is. Let me know your favorite outfit in the comments. I'm very curious. Let me know what you guys thought. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Catch me wearing this tomorrow. Don't think I won't. You can really get into it, you know? I'm telling you, these shorts? Going out. Stop. Stop. <laughs> like if Turbo starts walking, as soon as I start speaking. The moment I speak, she starts walking. It's like the Today Show setup, kind of. I feel like one of these days, this chair is gonna collapse on me, and I just, I can't wait.